say thank you for the continued blessings, first and foremost for family and for this opportunity to serve. To my wife, Mrs. Chukwocha, thank you for all of the care, guidance, and endless support. Your willingness to allow me to do the things both in my heart, my social work, and my art. I thank you. Thank you for cooking all of the gari, the fufu, and the paws of the starfish. <laughs> I say thank you, Dalu. To my children, Thea, Kezia, Osinachi, Chikuma, and my beautiful granddaughter, little mama Maya. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a constant source of energy and a reason to wake up every day. To my mommy, Mary Strother, thank you for allowing me to be your eldest. I don't know, I know I don't call and visit as much as I should, but no, it's not due to any devalue, but instead the lessons that you taught me to do my best in everything I do, both inside and outside of my home. I strive for every day to try to make you proud. To my twin, they call him Cool Al for a reason. <laughs> thank you, thank you for making my life complete, for showing me our united purpose. And to my sisters, Bonnie, Carla, and Helen, thank you for putting up with Al. <laughs> for my nephew, Charles and Janae, thank you for showing me that true Lincoln pride, L-U. Al, to Ellie, Heaven, Vinnie, and Haley, thank you all for showing me every day that family matters. To Hicks, thank you for all you taught me through your uncompromising service, for your passion your passion for our children, your passion for our children and for our community. And to my Uncle Larry, Aunt Fran, my Uncle Jay, those who helped fill your void of not being in my life. And to my mentor, Mr. Greg Chambers, I say thank you for always showing and showing me a true example of a God-fearing man. And to my other mentors, Ms. Mercedes Fields and Ms. Carolyn Peake, thank you for your unwavering commitment to our children and community. Dwight D. Eisenhower once said that whatever America hopes to bring to pass in the world must first come to pass in the heart of America. So the peace that we want for our nation, for our state, for Delaware, must begin here in Wilmington. I thank those who have continued to place their faith in my service. I promise to never take this seat for granted. I will not sit, I will not sit on the sidelines as war rages in our streets but instead use this seat as a weapon in the trenches to fight for our children, for our communities, for our city. And those whose blood has spilled into our streets, I will keep your soul alive and use it to fight against this evil of gun violence. And lastly, Madam President, you already know. <laughs> you are the drumbeat of our community. And you have been the drumbeat of our community since you published the drumbeat for our community. <laughs> Wherever you go, believe me, I am more than willing to follow. And I see your vision for our city and I look forward to assisting you and bring it to fruition. And to the members of the 107th Council, I hope that we can all work together to remove the disappointment that so many have with public service in our city. Thank you. Thank you.